so much for taking time to go over and visit with me over on Fritz Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Kentucky. And guys, this scenery may look familiar. We're heading back out on uh, the, the install we did a, a while back, the uh, heat pump, uh, R410A, 14th sear, uh, two and a half ton heat pump. And uh, guys, we are having some beautiful weather here today. And we're supposed to get up around 73 degrees. So uh, usually, uh, you know, I, I'll come back in the summertime or right when it starts heating up and, and check the charge whenever I, you know, do a heat pump or whatnot. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, today's going to be beautiful. We're going to be up about 73 degrees. So I figured why not uh, swing on out here and, and take a peek. Guys, what we did was we, uh, we basically uh, weighed in our charge. But I just want to make sure everything's uh, looking good out here. So I figured I'd take you all along for the ride. But uh, we'll come out here and we'll check our sub cooling and all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, I just love riding out here. It's probably about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes from my house. But uh, it's beautiful horse country out here. Figured y'all might get a, get a kick out of it. standard two and a half ton R410A 14 sear heat pump that we installed a couple weeks ago and it was pretty cold out here when we installed it so I wasn't able to actually charge the unit and like I said we're having a beautiful day here in Kentucky and it's going to hit about 73 degrees so I figured why not come out here and uh, put the gauges on it and check our sub cooling. Uh, right now guys I've got the uh, thermostat upstairs I pull into about I guess but uh, about 78 degrees and in, in my literature the, the requirements are that the indoor ambient has to be in between 70 and 80 degrees. So, like I said, I've got it pulled about 78. Once it reaches the temperature, then we'll fire up the AC here, or the heat pump in AC mode, and we'll check our sub cooling. But, uh, all right, yeah. guys, let me get after it. Man, oh, man. Who is that? Yummy. Now, what kind of sandwich is that? Um, like a panini beef. roast beef? Oh my God, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay guys, I got the service panel off. And I've noticed on a lot of these uh, newer units, um, I'm not even seeing the refrigerant type. But I guess that's because, you know, R22 has been phased out. But uh, I'm used to actually seeing my design subcool actually on the uh, data plate itself as well. But uh, anyway guys, I got the service uh, facts here. And uh, right here you can see it subcooling. Um, eight degrees uh, Fahrenheit design sub cooling so but anyway guys all right let's get started here. okay guys uh, we've been running a, a good 10 minutes I let it run for 10 minutes and uh, we're at 3.2 3.4 so I am a little uh, undercharged here so uh, 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Sure is beautiful out here, guys. Look at this. That's Kentucky, baby, right there. We in the holler, y'all. What do you got in there, man? Well, I got uh, some antelope from an antelope I killed in Montana this year. And then we've got some uh, sharp tail grouse from Montana. We've got a few pheasants in here, uh, some Hungarian partridge. Uh oh. <laughs> Here's the antelope tenderloin right there. Check it out, guys. So, ain't that something? And look, look what he gave me here, guys. What is this, Drew? That's ground antelope. 
with that? No, no fat. Okay, do I need to like add some? You're uh, gonna gr grind up some bacon. Okay. And just, uh, if you got a grinder, put just, you know, however much bacon you want for fat content in there. And then um, what I do is, is I'll uh, grate some onion really fine so it's almost like the consistency of applesauce. Okay. And a little bit of heavy cream. And I like to dice up some good jalapenos and put that in there, mix it all together, fry those up for your burgers with the caramelized onions. Cool, man. That sounds, man, I appreciate it, Is that it, the brother. one you got right there, Drew? Yep. That's the antelope that, uh, that Fritz will be eating here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And what do you call it? What's the real name of it? Well, he's, he's a goat species. The pronghorn antelope that you see out west are not even antelope, technically. There's no antelope in the United States or North America. It's a, it's a goat species, actually. Well, no kidding. That is wild. They just, they just call them antelope. It looks like an antelope. It's a beautiful well, this is what we all know as an antelope, but antelope species are like Africa. species in Africa. Okay. And this is a, technically a goat. This is more related to a mountain goat than it is. All right, guys, we're running anywhere from 7.0 to 7.4. Now, if you know me, guys, I'm going to try to get that 8. But uh, right now, you can call it. We're allowed a variance of plus or minus 3. Heck, let me, let me hold on a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and give her just a little bit of juice. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Alright guys, let's see what we got here in just a few minutes. We'll Temperature, minutes. Louisville, Kentucky. It's 66 degrees in Louisville right now. Alright guys, I'm going to hang with it just a bit longer. I want that 8. I do want that 8. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm at 7.6 here. I'm not going to keep splitting hairs. And, uh, uh oh, come on. Come on 8. But uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to say thank you so very much for stopping by and visiting with me. And I reckon we're going to holler at y'all on the next one. Come on, eight. Come on, eight. Come on, eight.